Breaking news here at noontime. These are live pictures from Sky Eye over Newburyport. A worker remains missing after a violent explosion at a pharmaceutical plant there. You can see the extent of the damage to that building as Sky Eye zooms in. Four people were able to escape the blast. And we've just received new pictures that show just how damaged this plant is. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben. WBC's Katrina Kincaid reports from New Report that this isn't the first explosion at that facility. We've learned that five people were inside of the chemical facility at the time of the explosion. Four of those people were able to get out safely, but one person still is unaccounted for at this time after the violent explosion, as fire officials said. We uh, attempted to make entry as best we could um, uh, to search for the occupants. Newburyport fire officials say they're actively working with rescue and safety teams, including a chemist, to locate the missing employee. It's a methodical process because of extensive structural damage that's making it hard to search for the worker. We're just getting together with a um, demolition company and um, the city's structural engineer and the building inspector. So uh, we need to make sure it's safe uh, for us to continue our search. A Coast Guard helicopter flew over earlier to give an aerial view for trying to locate the missing worker, but did not find them. Newberry Port Fire originally received a call around 12.45 a.m. about an explosion with fire from the sequence chemical facility. Video from the scene shows mangled metal, debris on fire, and smoke coming from the building. It was a violent explosion, so we wanted to cover all angles and uh, take a look at the perimeter of the building. They do say there's no danger to area residents, but are asking industrial park workers to please avoid the area. While they investigate, the same facility had six explosions in 2020. The company said a medical issue from their steam line caused those. Fire officials say they don't yet know what exactly exploded or what caused the explosion, but they say that is under investigation. In Newburyport, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.